It is important to remember that blood and blood-stained body fluid spills may contain harmful viruses that can be transmitted to personnel cleaning up the spill. For this reason, the Department of Health and the Health and Safety Executive have laid down guidance for the safe handling and disposal of such spills. These guidelines are designed to protect you, the person dealing with the spill, from becoming infected with blood-borne viruses, so that by protecting you, your patients, your work colleagues and your loved ones will also be protected. The Guest Biohazard Spill Kit contains everything you need to safely and efficiently deal with biohazardous spills in accordance with the guidelines. Before you start, check the instruction card carefully. Always check the expiry dates on the HazTab products before you use them. Wherever possible, improve ventilation in area of use. Always wear the protective gloves and an apron provided in the kit box. Wear face protection if there is a danger of splashing. The spills on relatively flat surfaces. Sprinkle the HazTab granules over the spill until all the moisture is completely absorbed. Do not leave the granules moist or damp. Leave for no more than two minutes. The spill will now be properly disinfected with 10,000 parts per million available chlorine. The splashes, drips or smears where the granules cannot be used. Make up a 10,000 parts per million available chlorine solution by adding 4 of the 4.5 gram HazTabs to 1 litre of cold water in the diluter bottle. Leave for 3 to 4 minutes to dissolve. The tablets do not effervesce, they just gently break down into a sludge on the bottom of the diluter. When they have completely dissolved, Screw the cap down tightly and invert the diluter gently to mix the solution. Do not shake the diluter to mix. Take a waste bag from the kit and set it up as near to the spill as may be conveniently possible. Take a disposable scoop and scraper from the kit box and tear off the scraper. Use the disposable scoop and scraper to collect the spill granules mixture and discard all into the waste bag. Use the solution on the disposable paper towels from the kit to wipe away splashes, drips and any smears. Discard the paper towels into the waste bag as you use them. This solution may also be used to clean away any smears left in the area of the spill absorbed by the granules if necessary. The procedure is now finished and the area properly disinfected. To clear up, always flush the sluice or domestic sink before discarding the solution. To avoid any dangerous reactions with other chemicals that have been put down beforehand. Then discard the solution. Replace the cap and flush the sluice or sink again. Put the diluter back in the kit box. Check to see if any of the kit elements need replacing before you close it and put it away. Gloves, aprons, paper towels and waste bags may be replenished from ward stocks. HazTab tablets, HazTab granules and scoops and scrapers and, if necessary, the diluter may be ordered from your stores or supply chain. Remove your PPE. Gloves last of all. And discard them into the waste bag. Only touching the outside of the bag, tie it into a knot and discard the whole thing into your clinical waste system. Now wash your hands and dry them carefully.
follow the instruction card carefully. Never use on a chemical spill or mix the granules or the solution with any cleaning agents. Never use hot or even warm water to dilute the tablets. Never shake the diluter to mix. This kit is only for use on blood and blood-stained body fluids. For non-blood-stained fluids, e.g. urine or vomit, use the guest urine and vomit spill kit. The HazTab solution may be used directly onto a spill if, for any reason, the granules are not available. However, it is important to put plenty of solution onto the spill in order to disinfect it properly. As a rough guide, ensure you at least double the original volume of the spill by adding the solution. Leave for two minutes and then mop up everything with the paper towels. Discard into the waste bag. Ensure you leave the area clean and smear free. Do not use the HazTab granules on carpets. They will clog into the fibers and be very difficult to remove. Use the HazTab solution on a disposable cloth, not paper towels, and gently work on the spill until all blood stains are removed. Then rinse well with clean fresh water to remove all traces of the chlorine. Modern carpets made with a high percentage of synthetic fibre are not likely to be bleached by this process. However, there may be some bleaching in old carpets made from only natural fibres. The Guest Biohazard Spill Kit All you need to safely dispose of biohazardous spills in accordance with Department of Health and Health and Safety Executive Guidance.